It is not necessarily true uh, that a city uh, needs to prioritise uh, all infrastructure assets at the same time. In fact, in many ways, it is not uh, possible. There is a hierarchy uh, of infrastructure needs. It depends, of course, on the starting point. Um, and so uh, uh, I, I think if we were to look at the different classes that, of infrastructure that I mentioned before, there are some basic ones. Water infrastructure uh, and, and making sure that you've actually got uh, um, a, a, a wastewater uh, treatment facility uh, and actually being able to deal with that is uh, a, a core uh, infrastructure investment. Um, transport infrastructure, being able to move uh, easily through the city, both for uh, uh, people getting from uh, home to school, home to work, making sure that that lo basic logistics is working at a basic level uh, uh, is, is of course uh, important. Electricity uh, is, um, is essential for, uh, 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 for cities to grow and for companies uh, to invest. It is surprising at the moment the number of cities that are consistently having trouble with electricity supply, even in developed countries. Uh, Auckland, uh, New Zealand, for example, has issues with the availability of uh, hydro uh, through their uh, main transmission lines, leading to key times and lack of availability uh, and cuts in, in electricity. Likewise, they have issues around water availability and rationing of water. So making sure those investments keep up with what has been a very uh, uh, large sort of growth rate uh, there uh, is important. Uh, when we talk about social infrastructure, there are again some things that, uh, that need to be prioritised and arguably have not been prioritised in the way that they, they could have. Uh, schools, uh, prisons, uh, some of those things, getting them to a basic level at what is low cost uh, is a first step for some cities uh, and, I, 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 and uh, th those things are very important. One other uh, asset class we didn't talk about before, but is becoming uh, very important to, to uh, developing cities and developed cities alike is um, um, uh, telecommunications infrastructure, which is one, one area where the availability uh, of connectivity uh, to um, fiber optic cabling and, and things actually does drive and has been seen to drive. Uh, economic growth and there are some cities that are prioritizing now telecommunication infrastructure over some of the uh, the basic spending on the basis that uh, this will lead to economic uh, growth. If you look at a city like uh, Philadelphia which at this stage has got some of perhaps the basic uh, needs uh, that it has, it, it, it needs to improve its road infrastructure for example it has some of the uh, um, some real ch challenges there. You know, the, the mayor was announcing the, the idea of actually putting in free uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, across the city to drive economic, uh, economic growth in the city. And, and some of these things are interesting because in, in my mind, at least, you would say that that is a nice to have compared to uh, some of the other asset classes that, that, that I've discussed. Um, in short, being uh, very rigorous and looking at what your demand is, is very important to fix this hierarchy. So let's look at that just for, for, for a moment. Uh, depending on the sort of uh, companies and individuals that you want to attract uh, can lead to uh, prioritising different sort of infrastructure. If, for example, the economic engine of your city is manufacturing, or, uh, or heavy, some heavier industries, then having uh, logistics around uh, f freight and cargo um, is, is essential. If, on the other hand, cities are looking to create economic growth uh, through uh, services, services or uh, you know, other types of, of industries, then it is very much around the, uh, the livability and the attraction uh, of individuals uh, to live there. And it will be around making sure there's no congestion, 
It'll be making sure that they've got availability of basic services uh, in the city. And frankly, that there are other, er other uh, investments made that create uh, a, a higher uh, livability for the city. So when I talk about that, it could be you know, parks, making sure that there are adequate green spaces. And as you start to think about that packet of, of infrastructure that is put together, that will really drive uh, some of the decisions that the cities uh, need to make. One final point I will make on, on this is uh, the city often will think it has the uh, detailed plans and knows what its citizens actually want. Uh, that's not always the case and so one thing that we see more and more are cities going out to the population and asking what are some of the things that would improve the livability, going to companies and actually talking to the companies and understanding some of the challenges and using that as an input to define the set of investments that need to be made moving forward. And this sort of discipline is something that uh, should be encouraged.